welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I will be removing, well, I will be removing the interior, like everything, carpet, seats, dashboard, all that fun jazz, because, well, uh, the carpet needs to be clean for sure. Uh, seats need to be out because, well, I don't need seats in the way while I'm about to, you know, remove the carpet, obviously. I have to remove the dash because I want to remove my heater core so I can run my shift cables through the heater core, where the heater core would be, because I don't want to run the no-cut shifter box. We're going to start by removing these seats, so that was, what, four 12 millimeter bolts i believe they're 12 millimeters okay so i got one seat out sorry for the lack of filming i just don't want to run out of daylight so i probably shouldn't even film in this whole entire process anyway so now i want to take out this seat and this seat yo if you're in south florida bro and if you want the seat i will straight trade anyone for an integra black seat i just need an integra black seat dark gray or black don't matter i just don't want tan i will straight trade you for a passenger seat because um this seat is fixed it doesn't like scoop back it just stays in one spot and i know it's uncomfortable for all my passengers if you're out there and want to trade me for a seat i got it okay seats are out uh center console's out now it's time to remove the carpet and then remove this dash just doing little updates i guess because i know i'm not going to full out film everything now that i'm thinking i wonder if i should just remove the dash first because i'm gonna be on the nasty floor so i guess i'll remove the dash first then remove the carpet it makes better sense that way Oh, I thought I would never have to remove a dashboard again. Oh. was just the blower motor fan crap but this right here is about to go yeet yeet all right so for the heater core it looks like all i have to remove is well i'm guessing this right here these two braces just gotta get this thing out but not it don't look too bad to remove but coolant is everywhere like i don't know if you guys can pick it up on camera but coolant was just spilling in here because it started leaking so i gotta take out this carpet and pressure wash it with soap and everything just to get all the stuff out and then i'll think about dyeing it but um, I don't know because I really want to get the engine in and driving and stuff. So I might just pressure wash it, clean it, and just throw floor mats in it. Like a whole set of floor mats or whatever. Because it's just carpet. Like, honestly, it's just carpet. Without further ado, let's uh, keep going on and getting this um, heater core stuff from Well, can you see it? Boom! Yeah, we out, playboy. It's actually not that hard. Um, I should have filmed it. I honestly should have filmed it. And I might not even upload this video due to, like, in case anybody want to remove their heater core. But it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to show you. When you got the dashboard off and all that crap, this pole right here, basically what holds your heater core in. So this bracket right here goes to that. And then that goes in there and that encloses your heater core. So once you drop that, all, you, all I did was just pull my heater core back from the tabs up top and it came off. So <gasps> we good to go. Now I can run shift cables right through there, boy. Right through there. And I also got to get an AC block off. So yeah, now um, put the dashboard back together. Remove the carpet. Hey, anymore because it flew off sorry for the not having the time lapse yesterday but i got the dash in somewhat i just gotta put everything back in but no more heater car got a lot of stuff to do today so gotta take out the carpet and all that hoop jazz and whatnot but for the most part i'm gonna try to um get this dashboard all the way in i gotta bolt that one down there bolt this one well that's our bolt and bolt one there the one on the other side is already bolted in but the dashboard is in playboy i just gotta tighten it on up on camera the carpet looks really really like tannish in this area but it's really not like it's black it's just the foot area just gets tan i guess this carpet was dyed before Got a lot of crap to do
Not sure if I told you guys why I'm removing the carpet, but um, my heater core failed and coolant got all on the floor and I've been dealing with coolant smell and slippery foot for the past last two months of the FQ driving the car. So what I'm gonna do, since I ain't no detailer, what I'm going to do is pressure wash. Like I'm a foam can in the carpet and pressure wash. I don't know if that's gonna work with the, getting the coolant stuff out, but that's what I'm going to do. And look at Kato. He's pooping outside. He's pooping outside. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Kato. That's my boy. He pee, ooh, dropping them turds. I'm gonna get demonetized. But that's my boy. game i gotta let it sit out in the sun for a day or so so tomorrow probably like midday tomorrow i'll take it out and hopefully there's no more coolant smell and no more coolant residue stuff like that i'll let you guys know in the next video how this carpet turned out but well, that is gonna do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it overview so in this video we successfully removed the dashboard removed the heater core put back the dashboard Remove the carpet, pressure wash the carpet, try my best to remove all the coolant residue, all the dirt, all the grime, whatever crap that carpet has accumulated over the span since I had it since the previous owner had it. And that's pretty much it. Tomorrow, which is Monday, I got some parts coming in. I am receiving my header from Neo Garage. I can't wait. I was gonna pick up a PLM header for 100 bucks down in West Palm, but I came to the conclusion like, you know, let me put all brand new parts on this car so I know everything works great and no issues. So of course I went with my homie Neo over at Neil Garage and we got a header ordered and it should be here tomorrow. Can't wait. Shout out to Neil for coming clutch as always. I love that dude, man. That's my dude. Neil, you my dude. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Maybe Tuesday because Monday I'm pretty sure I'm going to be busy all day working on the car. So Tuesday I will see you to start that week of daily uploads. So stay tuned. The motor should be in the car sometime this week for sure. Maybe Thursday or Friday the latest because I do got to order flywheel bolts from the dealer so I can um, have flywheel bolts to put on. I probably got to get pressure plate bolts. Too. So I gotta order flywheel and pressure plate bolts. All right, so yeah, give or take Wednesday, Thursday, maybe Friday, the engine will be in the car, and then hopefully by next week we'll get that first start going. If I receive the parts in from. <coughs> <coughs> But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, could you please smash that like button for you? But that'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. I would do that, but I'm scared my lens is gonna turn off the camera.